Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create player controls for your food catcher game. All right, so I've added in two sprites into my project. They don't have any code right now. And because I want to control the player, I'm going to control the bowl. So what I want to do is actually create a function that is going to uh, tell the bowl where to start. So we're going to go to my blocks and then click make a block. And in the past, I've uh, done some videos where I've called this initialize, but in this video, I'm just going to call it setup. So they basically mean the same thing. It's setting up um, our program. Uh, so what we're going to do when we set up is we want the bowl to start towards the bottom of the screen. So something like this, and we'll just have it go ahead and start in the center like there. Cool. So when I press the green flag, I want it to run this new block setup, and I'm eventually going to add more blocks to this later. So for right now, it's just setting up one thing. Um, and then after we set up, we're going to forever set the X position, X is left and right, to the mouse position. So it's basically going to always follow where my mouse is, but never go up and down. So to do that, we're going to set X to, and then we go to sensing, to the mouse X. All right, so check this out. We press the green flag. It's going to set up the code here where it's going to make it go right there. And then forever set the X to the mouse X, which will make it so that it always follows the mouse, even if I'm not touching it, but it will never go up and down. So always left and right. So that's how you add in uh, player controls for your food catcher game. So create a setup function and make it so that your X position is always set to the mouse X position. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.